Okay, now the question asks, determine whether the following expressions are dimensionally correct or not. Uh, so this question is about checking the dimensional homogeneity. Okay, uh, dimensional homogeneity. Uh, okay, dimensionally or dimensionally homogeneous. So, uh, this is the expression f equal to 1 over 2 pi square root g over l. Okay, and f, where f, l, and g represent the frequency of a pe simple pendulum, length of the simple pendulum, and the gravitational acceleration respectively. So, we can say that, um, okay, uh, this is the frequency f, uh, this is the length, and gravitational acceleration is the g. Uh, okay? So, uh, okay, so we want to check uh, this formula. Maybe I'll write this formula again. F equal to uh, 1 over uh, 2 pi square root uh, G over L. Uh, so, if this equation is dimensionally homogeneous or dimensionally correct, then, uh, then it must fulfill the it must fulfill this. The dimension at the left hand side must be equal to the dimension of the right hand side. Ah, okay, they must they must have the same dimension. The dimension of the left hand side, the dimension of the left hand side must be equal to the dimension of the right hand side. Then we can prove that uh, this equation is dimensionally correct or dimensionally homogeneous. So now let us check first. What is the dimension of the left hand side? And then what is the dimension of the right hand side? Then we can compare. Okay. So uh, we should draw, draw. Yeah. Separate. Separate it. Three. Separate into two columns first. Okay. Now I want to check the left hand side. Sorry. Uh, okay. Let's check the left hand side. Okay. Left hand side. At left hand side, we have the uh, frequency, isn't it? Uh, so what is the dimension of the frequency? Uh, we know that frequency is actually 1 over period. Yeah, uh, if you learn about oscillation before, frequency is 1 over period. Period is a time, you know, period is, a, uh, this is called the period. Uh, period is actually a time. Uh, a time, yeah, a time that which has a unit, uh, second, okay, unit second. So, uh, unit, uh, unit is second. So the dimension is t time big t, all right. Uh, so the, so the dimension of the the time is actually the t itself. Uh, so it is the t is below, so it go ab uh, above, yeah. Uh, so it become it is t negative one. Okay. Uh, remember the dimension of the time is the t. Uh, okay. Uh, unit second. Uh, dimension t. Okay. Uh, so uh, the dimension of frequency is t negative one. That is the left hand side. Now let's check the right hand side. Okay, let's check the right hand side. Uh, right hand side we have uh, 1 over 2 pi square root g over l. Okay, first let's check. Um, uh, okay, we need to know the dimension of this right, right hand side, which is dimension of uh, this one. Okay, now uh, let's do uh, step by step. Yeah, uh, let's do it step by step. Okay. First of all, uh, we can write like this. This dimension uh, is equal to this one. Okay. Uh, like this. Square root G over L. Okay. And then we can uh, write uh, like this. Um, square root... Uh, no, no, no. Okay. Uh, this is... Uh, we can separate them uh, again. Become like this. Uh, this is g is uh, halved, okay? Uh, because it's square root. Uh, the l also, the l also is under square root, okay? 
Ah, understand? Ah, you know why why we have power half? Because they have square root. Okay? Ah, now, what's the dimension of this? Ah, dimension of the any numerical constant. Dimension of any numerical constant is 1. They have no dimension. Ah, because they have no unit. Now, how about this one? Ah, how about this one? So, okay. So, again... Uh, let's look at this one. So that uh, first of all, we need to know that uh, acceleration g is actually called the acceleration. Uh, so uh, g, the unit for g is actually uh, meter per second square, isn't it? Uh, unit for g is uh, meter per second square. So the dimension of g. Uh, so just look from the the unit. Then we can translate into the dimension. Meter is L length and then second is time. Uh, second is time. Uh, you see that? Uh, okay. And then the L, the L dimension of L, the length dimension of L is L itself. Uh, okay. So done. So now how about the dimension of G uh, to the power of half yeah, or square root G? Uh, so we know that this this is the dimension of g. So and then because it have the uh, power of half, uh, so we so we can uh, do like this. Yeah, uh, it has power of half. Uh, okay, and then how about this one? This one uh, l also power of half. Okay, l also power of half. Ah, uh, all right. So what do we get? Uh, so expand. So we have. Uh, so we we know that this l power of half. Uh, this l also power of half. We can actually cancel them. Uh, cancel them because both of them have the same power. Only left with the t uh, negative two power of half. So expand. We get. Uh, yeah. Cancel. We get this one. Uh, we get this one t negative one uh, because negative two divide by two we get negative one ah uh, so that's the dimension of the right hand side ah uh, so what do you see from here uh, this is the dimension of the left hand side and this is the dimension of the right hand side are they equal yes they are equal they are same uh, we can say uh, the dimension, uh, we can say the dimension of uh, f is equal to the di dimension of 1 over 2 pi square root g over l. Which uh, we can say dimension of the left hand side equal to dimension of the right hand side. Both of them have the same dimension, uh, which is uh, t negative 1. In other words, we can say the left hand side and right hand side, both of them have the same unit. Uh, they have the same unit. So this equation, we, uh, we can make a conclusion that this equation is dimensionally, dimensionally homogeneous, uh, homogeneous or dimensionally correct. Okay, uh, that's it. Yeah, because they have the same dimension, left hand side and right hand side, same dimension. Uh, we can say same dimension and also when you have same dimension they must also have same unit okay that's all for these questions thank you